What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 118 of our Pokemon Reborn Let's Play. Last time, last time we struggled our way through our battle against Solaris, and we had to reach to the bench. We had to call on an old friend to help us out, and he did just that. He came through and won us the battle. Now we've been tasked with going to fight or to track down Lin. I'm very scared, but if you're excited for more Reborn, hit the thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and just thank you so much for checking out our videos. I really do hope that you enjoy. Uh, let's get to it. I just finished recording it. I just finished this battle. Uh, oh, you know what I need to do that I forgot to do? I need to get some items real quick. I oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I go... Oh no, I can't go that way. I've got to fly over there. I feel like this is going to be a pretty story heavy episode. And I kind of hope it's a story filled episode with maybe not as difficult of a battle as I'm expecting there to be. Because um, I truly expect there to be some an insane battle with Lin coming up at some point. And based on... What we saw in the last two episodes, I'm probably going to get smacked by Lin. Probably just going to get smacked by Lin, so... Uh, I'm just thinking about a, a playthrough where I... Don't use cotton candies and ultra potions all the time. Like, that's that's just scary to think about. It's honestly just scary to think of playing a Nuzlocke of this game. I want to do it. I want to do it really bad. I think eventually we might do it, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... I, I truly don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Like, uh, let's go with... All right. That should be enough. That's 99 Ultra Potions. What is, what is DJ... What, what's he doing here? I always forget. Domino, it's been a minute. That whole thing at Devon before it was kind of rough, huh? I'm still getting used to this whole one-eyed thing, but I gotta realize they could have done a lot worse, and I could have. Well, it's not like I'd have wished this on you. Not that I'm trying to play the martyr here. I think we've had more than enough of that. But hey, you see Team Meteor, you give them one for me. For now, I'm just gonna try and get back on track, you heard it? So I was gonna do a bit of follow-up with the Pokemon trafficking around 7th. Did you know that? Did you already know they were stolen from Lucidia's daycare? I want to get those Pokemon back to their original owners. Thanks to the cooperation of the daycare couple, I've been able to track down five of the trainers who had their Pokemon stolen. Oh, you know what? We will come back to him. I, I have talked to him there before. I don't know if I did it on the series or while, while I was training or what, what it might have been, but... Uh, in order to get the lucky egg... Lucky Egg? Do I have a Lucky Egg? Hold on. Am I thinking of the right thing? In order to get the Lucky Egg... Yeah. In order to get the Lucky Egg, you have to go down in 7th Street. And you have to purchase all of the Pokemon that are there. And then DJ Arclight comes and gives you that item. Gives you the, the Lucky Egg. Alright, well we're back with our regular team now. For some reason he's still holding the insect plate, but we're just going to let him do it. Because I don't know where the magnet is. I thought I had a magnet at one point. But... I'm terrified. I really truly am terrified. Lynn's ready to fight. Everything is, is it's, it's all going to be all right. I don't know what's going on, but I saw a woman with green hair just outright walk into the water a moment ago. This isn't like some creepy zombie story, right? It's okay. Everyone's fighting for the city. Don't cry. You'll be all right. Walk into the water? Like, this water here? Oh, snap. We might be surfing. We might be surfing here in a second. Oh, we're gonna be surfing here in just a second. Cause I can't get up there and this is probably locked. Yep. All right, here we go. 
Oh, please don't tell me this is the final showdown with Lin. Oh, please don't tell me this is the final showdown with Lin. Please don't tell me this is the final showdown with Lin. She's gonna have a monstrous team. I can't. E I can't even imagine. Oh, this is gonna be nuts. Actually, having waterfall over surf. Having waterfall over surf is probably such a better idea because it's a physical move. I don't remember. Am I? What's my nature? My nature is hasty, right? I just don't remember what that does. I mean, my attack and my special attack are nearly identical, but... A Stardust? I got off for a Stardust? Oh my goodness. Alright, well... The only reason that Surf would be better... Is if it's a double battle, which I mean... We do do a lot of double battles in this game. So Lin can walk on water. How many, how many up and down, up and down and around am I going to have to do here? Uh, go faster! Alright, come on. Come on, Lin. I'm not afraid of you, Lin. I don't even think I'm afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you, Lin. I'm, I'm relatively afraid of Lin. Based on how Reborn is, I just have this feeling that Lin is like... THE bad guy. Like, and the bad guys I've already fought are already insane. There are so many rocks here. None of them have anything. The most annoying thing about this is probably the music restarting. Probably the music restarting. Now... Okay, I can't go that way. Really? I have to have Waterfall to go down? It's not like that in regular Pokemon games. I think they do that in this game specifically for the place over by Titania and Amaria's house. So you can't just go down that without... Having waterfall. Are we doing this? Is this what we're doing? Is this what we're doing? <sighs> this is fun. I don't like TM or HMs. Even if they're TXMs like this, like the TMXs. I think I've been calling them TXMs. At least Lin's gonna have, you know, it's not just like walk up and fight. We're gonna have to go somewhere. We're gonna have to explore a little bit to find her. Does she go this same way that I'm going? Because I did just go get my Ampharos, so I'm, I'm ready for water types. Why is there a... I found a cave. <laughs> I see. So the gaggle above has already broken apart, and the power source we sought was never here to begin with. All this time they were looking for something that could never have been found, and they destroyed themselves over it. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! 
Hey, don't you think it's funny? Don't you think it's funny how easily people break? Everyone in the world wears a stone face. Underneath they swear they're solid gold. Hearts of crystal, souls of steel. But no matter their face, everyone has nothing. You take something away, their home, their love, something as simple as a single colored pen, and they just fall into pieces. We are made of nothing, and surely it would take an act of God to create something from nothing. Life is unfair like that. You know, I've had this feeling about Lin this whole game. I was just talking about it. I've had this feeling about Lin. They portray Lin as God in this game. They totally portray Lin as God in this game. And that's terrifying. That's actually the most terrifying thing I've ever considered. Really? How did I run into a Pokemon? Why is it a core fish? Blub blub. Hi, right, Blast Burn, get me out of here. It's snowing. Why is it snowing? That's so silly. Oh. Where's my shiny Whalmer at, though? Actually, I don't want to see a shiny Whalmer. Because I've never found a shiny Whalmer in Pokemon Go. It upsets me. My shiny luck in Pokemon Go is absolutely... I mean, what can I say? What can I say? Do you want to send someone to the PC? No. Send that Luminion to the PC. Ain't using that trash. That's crazy. I was just talking about shinies and literally found one. That's actually pretty cool. Reborn Shiny Master. How many other people? Ah, uh, just kidding. Don't answer that question. Because I'm sure most people that let's play this game probably... Uh, have also found shinies, but I feel like I find a shiny every two or three episodes just walking through the grass probably because I don't use uh, Repels as much as other people do All right, Lynn you can't run from me forever actually you can if you want to if you want to make it more than just me walking up to you and Oops Darn it. Okay. This is not alright. You can't be giving me a full restore. Because that's how you know. That's how you know some crap's about to go down. Can't be giving me a full restore. Oh, I see. Actually. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't have my flyer with me. That's a no. How do I take that thing out? Close combat? <laughs> it might be time to go get Sil Valley again. <laughs> it might be time to go get Sil Valley again. Man, if I had a flyer, I wouldn't have to do this. Right, hold on. We'll be good. We'll be good. This is where you tap the screen until you see us done with this part. I'm one space away. One, one single space away from being able to dive. Oh. 
I learned this trick where if you hold B, it does everything for you. Man time. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. That's what I thought. I was kind of thinking that it was just broken like that. Oh, I was kind of thinking that it was just kind of broken like that. I was like, wait, why, why am I able to walk over to go over this? But anyway, I think I, I don't know if I meant to say it, but when you hold the B button, it just clicks. It clicks endlessly. I wonder if that's planned or if that's accidental. Now I gotta teach surf again. Why can't I just like jump in the water? That's my question. All right. And then we gotta teach surf again. This, or waterfall. This is the only thing I don't like. You know, gen seven. Even Pokemon Insurgents had items, instant Lapras, where you could just, you know. No, I meant to save, yes. Now, now, you can't possibly leave until the show is rightfully over. While you're at it, how about you hand over whatever that big stone business is? Who makes demands with their cheek on the ground? All the souls in this world insist on mercy, but there is none. A world like this cannot exist any other way. I do hope you don't intend to take the, high, the moral high ground after everything you've done. Morals are only lies we choose to believe in, our, in for our own effort. Such fictions have no bearing on this world. All that matters is control. Who can make the other man bow? Who can make the other one kneel? Who can make the other disappear? And who can bring them back? No way! That's not... What is lost can yet be found. What is found can be extorted. What's extorted is forgotten. What's forgotten is your place. Look out! No, what are you... So... What happened? Where did he go? What did you do with Samson? Why should the sun care if the stars go out? It is still the center of its own world, unable to see past its own sheen. Shield your eyes or burn them out. It makes no difference. Huh? Again? Of course I care. I always cared. Another black hole? That Gardevoir, it's just like with Cain. Even if it wasn't how he wanted, even if I couldn't say it, and just what does she know? Why did he listen to her? Why couldn't we do anything again? Did I do something wrong asking for help stopping her? No. There was nothing we could do, but you weren't wrong to ask us. As always, I just wasn't enough. I've never been. This is disgraceful. I should go. Maybe we all shouldn't split up. Why does this keep happening? Domino! This is a weird angle. First Kane, and now this. I, I froze up. Why couldn't I do anything? It's my fault. I saw Lynn trying to leave and asked Samson and Seal for help to stop her. Should I have done it alone? Should I have just let her go? I don't. No way. Then she just have gotten you instead. I'm not saying anyone's more valuable than anyone else, but at the least it'll do more harm than good if you don't let up on yourself. Ain't no one can blame you for not taking on something you can't handle. So chin up, Shell Bell. The best way to honor those that ain't with us is to not let the whoa okay. The best way to honor those that ain't with us is to not let that law stop us from doing what we gotta. The others have rounded up a bunch of meteor goons and they're taking taking them taking them into the city to lock them down. They've got their Pokemon helping, but I can't imagine they couldn't use another set of hands. Why don't you roll out with them? Oh, okay. What's our plan, Hardy? My sis is with them. 
She may not be good for much more than sharp words most of the time, but the two of them seem to be hitting it off earlier. Her helping Shelba with the whole black bo backbone thing. I think she'll be good for her. Well, one way or another, that just about takes care of me Meteor for here. It's good to be home. I'm going to go hit up the townsfolk and tell them that it's safe now. After that, <laughs> you already know what I'm going to ask, right? I've been looking forward to a battle with you ever since I saw you fight Aya. It's going to feel great to use my gym again. Then we can roll back up to Kalsanon and find a way to save Aya. Sound good to you? I'll be waiting, mate. Gym battle. Right, I got to I got to get inside. I got to reset this camera. <sighs> okay. It's time. It's time for a rock gym. Meaning Scorpio Mon will be virtually useless. Bonobris will be okay. Metabot will be okay. Oblivion will be big. Blasphem will be big. Pajiramon will not be very big. Okay. Um, type chart. I need to look at this. Rock is like one of the ones that my brain never under my brain will never grasp. Rock, or rock is super effective against fire, so it'll be and su no half effective against ground, so it'll do neutral damage to to uh, Vonobarus. Rock is two times against ice, which is fine. It's half against fighting. So Rock Oblivion will resist. Nice. Half flying, half for bug. What? Rock to bug is super effective. I, re I just read that backwards. And then to steal, it's half. So to psychic, okay. So Metabot and Oblivion are actually going to be really big for us in this gym battle. And so will Blast Burn, obviously. Vonobarus will be pretty good. He can get off an Earthquake. Scorpiomon and Pajiramon. Scorpiomon will be good. Wait. Rock is not super effective to electric? We're going to try it with our A-team here. If we need to switch up, we can. All right, let's talk to these guys. Ah, you're one of the folks who saw help, helping fight get the city back from Team Meteor, right? Thank you so much for protecting our home. What you doing in here, ma'am? This stupid thing. Oh, I didn't hear anyone come in. Blame it on me being just a little frustrated with this old piece of trash. Oh, where are my manager or whatever? My name's Serena. I'm the property manager here in Agate City. I know what you did for the city and I appreciate that. Seriously, I have no intentions to sleep again for the next seven years. And at, and at the rate this is going, that's not an exaggeration. Do you care? Yes? Kind of you. Then let me explain. I'm kind of new to the job. Took over after the last property manager had an, inc an accident in Reborn City. That was before the renovation, so, you know. What else would you expect if you frequent that place? Anyway, I've been checking over the records and such mind-numbingly boring, by the way. For whatever reason, this address alone is missing all of its documentation. There's no indication whatsoever as to who the owner is, when it was sold, or what its standing is. So I came here to check it out. And as, as you see, lived in would be a generous, oops, a, whatever. I don't think anyone stayed here for years. Saw this little piece of trash over here and thought I could figure out who the place belonged to if I poked around. That was my first mistake. This thing needs a password. Looks like six digits. I'd say I don't have a clue what it is, but that's not quite true. The one clue I have is this. A Team Meteor logo on the bottom of the screen. I've already combed this place and there's nothing to tell me what it is. For better or worse, I'm not too willing to get mixed up with Team Meteor to find out more either. I'm thinking that's where you come in. I see you've got one, uh, I see you've got one of Meteor's ID cards there. I won't ask questions because I know you're on the right side, but if you think of anywhere that card could get you in, maybe there will be a hint there as to whoever owns this heap. I've tried brute forcing the password, but that takes forever. Still more interesting than the rest of my paperwork, though. So, you know, I'll be around. Swing by if you find anything. I have a Meteor ID card? Meteor card. That's a side mission if I've ever seen one. So we'll come back to that. Let's 
So we'll come back to that. Let's check here. Let's check here. Good day. I see you have a Pokedex handy there, right? My name's B. I've actually been trying to collect data all trying to collect data all the Pokemon are reborn. Could you help me out? I'll make it worth your while. How about for every 100 new Pokedex entries you bring me, I'll give you a reward. Sounds awesome, right? I've got plenty of stuff from searching around for Pokemon myself. Just talking when you caught more than 100 Pokemon. So let's see. You don't seem to have 100 entries yet. I was about to say, it's close. My wife's always going on about finding all that Pokemon data. I know it would help out with my research, but she doesn't have to be the one to put herself through such things when she already has a condition. All this for that little thing. Do you need something? I'd not. I'd advise. If not, I advise leaving. I'm not one for strangers. It's nice and all to be back in business after sleeping so long, but I'm afraid I still hardly know what to do with myself. Good day. If you'd like to gain interest to the residencies, a tenant will have to show you in. Okay, so that's something I can eventually do. Woo-wee, is it good to be home? Tell you what, ain't no place but the mount but the mountains, but I still don't want to be cooped up in them for too long. Okay, so hear me out. 24 hours and we only sleep for eight, right? So I mean I can stay up for double the amount of time that I was asleep for? Well, yo, we are gonna party so much. Man, I get that, but the days go by so fast. Ah, oh, geez, I'm so far behind on my course after being out for so long. You really think my professor's gonna believe if I say I was asleep the whole time? Hey, hey, you wanna know something? Down the basement, there's a really strange room. And, and, you wanna know what else? It's really spooky. One time, my friend dared me to stay the night in there, but I got too scared and had to leave. It's that scary and weird. Hey, hey, you wanna see it? Yes. Okay, I'll leave the door open. Follow me. I think I need to do this at night, but... See, isn't it creepy? Anyway, it's too creepy, so I'm going back to my room. Bye! I feel like I, I need to come back at night. I feel like at night, if I come in there... Something interesting will happen. That's what I'm betting. Probably a safe bet. Oh, there's the gym. All right, we're hitting that up in just a minute. Soon as we finish exploring the whole town. Oh, I missed so many episodes of my favorite show while I was out. Worst of all, my legs are too cramped to even sit at home and watch it now. Okay. Sure. 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 Uh, huh? Oh, oh, I must have fallen asleep. I was supposed to go on a hike to Route 4 to meet my friend. Eh? It's been how long? Gosh, I guess I totally stood him up. Well, no sense sitting around here. I'll just go out myself anyway. Thanks for waking me up. Maybe I'll see you around. Another. There's so many side things. What to watch? Nothing. Leave me alone. There's so many side things, man. Jeez, it's so nice to finally be able to walk around my home city, home city again. That circus smelled bad anyway. Excuse me? Hello, if I recall, one of my nephews used to talk a little bit about you. He said you had this group of friends were pretty fond of fire-type Pokemon. I happen to be looking for a Stantler. I have a Litten for trade if you have one. No. A Litten? I mean, that's another Pokemon weak to ground type, but. Uh, ice cream. I hear this is a very old city, but after it was found completely empty, they cleared away all the old growth and rebuilt it. They did a fabulous job, in my opinion, but whatever happened to the old residents? Alright.
The gate city is safe for now. Please report to us immediately if you find anything suspicious within it. A Pokemon that shocks on touch. And through no ability or such old hat. To whom electric type moves always fall flat. See, there's so many side things that I'm going to have to come back and do eventually. Should have 20. Okay. Okay, was that the entire thing? Have we have we done everything? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't need shards, okay? I have a million and six shards. I literally have a ton of shards all right i've gone there i think i've done everything in the city so now it is time to do it do it do it do i'm nervous i'm nervous I'm terrified actually Found an Everstone. Don't know why I would need that. All right. Let's 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 just run up. Oh, there are trainers. Adrian. Oh, yeah. Domino, how's our favorite champion doing? So, you've reached Hardy, yes? You're nearly there. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is that, like, Hardy fights in doubles. His main strategy is something like a brute force attempt. Outspeed and punish both opponents at once. His signature move, Rock Slide, is great at that, on top of a notable flinch chance. When fighting a, in a rocky field, flinches can be especially nasty, as being knocked into a rock will add additional chip damage. For that reason, contrary to what you might expect from a rock-type leader, speed will be critical in this battle. If you don't move fast, you might not move at all, so Pokemon with strong priority moves may be at a particular advantage here. Further, Hardy's Pokemon may use stones as, de as, a def as defensive cover from some attacks. So be careful how you approach. The field provides him with little resistances otherwise, though. So if you can find an opening, take it. Whatever the case, I'm sure you'll figure out something. You always do, right, champion? Good luck. We're all counting on you. He fights in doubles. Which means, just as I was expecting, we're going to need to rely on Blast Burn and Metabot. Because both of them have priority moves. How did I know? Goodness gracious. Alright. We're going to train. We're going to do these, these trainers today. And that will probably be our episode. Unless there's only like one of them. I know you're gonna use. I know you're gonna use an electric type move or a psychic type move. Yep, called it. All right, we're gonna speed up just a little bit. So my plan. Ouch. My plan is going to be. My plan is going to be to lead with our Greninja and our Metagross. That's the plan. Is this as effective as I think it is? Armaldo? Okay, note to self, Armaldo, that's not very, that's not gonna work. Yeah, against Armaldo, that won't work. Um, so against Armaldo, can I do like Meteor Mash? Super effective. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, cause water resists steel. That's a weird one for me. Wrapping my mind around the fact that water resists steel. That's one I always, that's one I forget pretty often. Now I know I could use those little healing items, but if I can just run back to the Pokemon Center right here, I might as well. Hmm. Okay, 
So against Caracosta, I need to... Uh, maybe I can do the same thing, but I can just use like a... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, th I'm thinking out loud. For some reason, I was thinking that I was going to... Sub, bro. If you're looking to fight our boy Hardy, first you gotta fight the chords. This Wallace here got some strings going across that will vibrate as you blow past them. Just make the music happen in your end. Those tuners on the other side can control the notes you play. From left to right, they go low G, A, B, C, D, F, high G. Mash up the sounds and get them in line. As for the song you want to play, it goes a little something like this. Wait, hold on. If the music would not play immediately afterwards... Okay. Well, let me take, let me take these guys out first. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion. I might be able to figure, uh, we're not playing this game. You're getting blown into pieces. I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to figure out this puzzle pretty easily. Okay. Uh, I would imagine this is probably easy for a lot of people. I'm not trying to say I'm special or anything like that. Oblivion! Note to self, Oblivion... Actually, I guess that would have sucked. Who's level 87? Okay, cool. Hey, perfect! That's gonna get you up to level 88. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I have to be careful. Metabot cannot grow to level... Well, I guess he can go to level 90. That'd be fine. Against an Aurorus, obviously I'd want to go out to Metabot. Mammal Swine, I'm going to stay. Don't be Scarfed. Telurix Seed boosted Evasion. Bow! Okay, I need to use priority more. Okay, cool. Let's run back and heal one last time. And then we're gonna take this, uh... I think I already got it. I think I got it in my ear. I just have to figure out what exactly... Like, what did it mean? Oh, the tuners. So if I hit the end of them, it will change the tone that it's going. Let me look. Okay, that's... Solidian chord here. Anyway.
Hold on, let me listen to it one more time. I almost got it. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is it. So it goes... That might be too high. That might be too high, hold on. That might be too high. Right, let's try it. Let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I, this might be it. Oh, it's too low. Hold on. No, not too low. Oh, it's too high. Still too high. That's it. That's it, 100%. Wrap up the episode right there. Yes, we could have taken this on, but I've got to get to work soon. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. If you enjoyed our episode of Pokemon Reborn, hit the thumbs up down below. The oh shoot, the finale. Alright, here we go. Hey, what's up, mate? I've been pumped up for this for a while. You ready to roll? No. No sweat, mate. I'm all set whenever you are. We're going to wrap up. We may have a special weekend episode of Pokemon Reborn to get the final touches on it. Again, if you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up down below. I hate to cut it like this, but this is the time frame that I like. And, but yeah, we've got a new series that we've got to start soon. Or we're not going to finish it before Let's Go comes out. Anyway, thank you, for sending, thank you for spending time with us. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a blessed day.